Hello, welcome to Farm with Fred. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can continue learning together. And today, uh, I want to take you through tomato farming and open field tomato farming. In our previous uh, episodes, we have tackled how to how, how to plant tomatoes, the method, the best method of uh, planting tomatoes. If you have not watched that episode, you can go back and watch uh, uh, our first episode on tomato farming. Uh, in tomato farming, tomato grows in different stages. There is planting, that is our first stage. And in planting, we usually, uh, when planting the, the tomatoes, like uh, I told you before, we use manure during planting. We can also have some soil treatment, like use of, uh, 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 use of, of lime, in order now to make sure uh, our, our soil is well buffered or we reduce the acidity of the soil. And all these things is as advised by, uh, by the, 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 the soil analyst. Because before we start everything, we analyze our soil in order to know the, 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 the nutrient quantities in the, in the soil, the pH and everything. So uh, at this stage, as you can see, uh, our tomato plants, I'll one month old that that means they are four weeks old after transplanting and at this moment because we've already done our first our fertilizer which was phosphorus fertilizer or a product it can be a synthetic product or non or organic product but it was rich of phosphorus but at this stage now we need to do another product because as you can see this is now the vegetative stage because the first stage was root development, stem development, and to make sure uh, the, the plant is energetic. As you can see, the crop is very energetic. So at this stage, you want to make it vegetative. And how do we make it vegetative? That way now we come and introduce now a, a, a balanced fertilizer, a, a fertilizer that is balanced of phosphorus and uh, nitrogen, all uh, the, the fertilizer can, can be high nitrogenous fertilizer because what we are looking now for is to increase the vegetation uh, to make sure the st we have as many stems as possible because our main interest here is when we come, when we'll be supporting the crop, we support as many stems as possible. So if a plant has less, uh, less or no, no, no leaves, it will not be able to supply enough nutrient during uh, flower and fruit formation. So that's why we are concentrating more on stems, uh, many step development to increase now our, 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 our flower capacity and more leaves in order now at that time when times comes, we'll be having a, a good nutrient supply to the leaves, to the, to the fruit, to the fruits and to the flowers. So, uh, in when applying fertilizers, because as you can see, our method or uh, our method of irrigation here is based on irrigation. We usually apply fertilizer, then we hand water, because most of the fertilizers that we have, or most of the product that we are using, are water soluble. So it is very easy for that for for, for irrigation water to be mixed with with fertilizer. As you can see, the crop at the moment looks dry. Also, uh, at this stage, we need a lot of watering because like I told you, we are approaching the flower formation stage and we want to increase our vegetation plus our stems. So we need to have enough water or we need to do a lot of irrigation in order to make sure our, 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 our crop is not starving. Because at onset of flowers, we want this crop to be very healthy. So th that is the reason to why at this stage we have to do a lot of work of nutrient supply and watering. Until next time, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can learn together.